Today we explore the mysterious world of the rare Bucknellian electrical engineer. The only scientific documentation of these creatures has been captured here in the Charles A. Dana Engineering Building. Known by the scientific name Engineer Bucknellian Electricus, this species has been dated back as far as 1893. The Engineer Electricus comes in all shapes and sizes. Over time, the Engineer Electricus have developed various adaptations that separate them from their closely related brethren. Notably, the moderate to severe scoliosis from constant back strain. The melanin deficiency from lack of sunlight. On the left limb, the hand structure seems to have evolved specifically to hold a TI-89 scientific calculator. While on the right forearm, the electricus seems to always carry a store of green graft line paper. The National Geographic team is now venturing into the wild in an attempt to capture this magnificent creature in its native habitat. Join us as we embark upon the journey to Charles A. Dana Engineering. Today, the National Geographic team seems to be in luck. The droppings of an engineer chemicus are seen nearby. The National Geographic team finally found an active herd of engineer electricus. We have hidden a camera to capture E. electricus in its nurturing environment. E. electricus seems to have extremely random sleeping patterns. At the height of the day, the electricus turns into a rather aggressive beast. As the herd moves toward its feeding grounds, chaos ensues. Some of the more adventurous individuals remain behind, choosing to scavenge for food rather than hunt. Typically, the elder males are exceedingly efficient at scavenging. The young know not to challenge the alpha engineers of the herd. The e electricus spends hours toiling over their elaborate constructions. Much like their primate counterparts, the e electricus uses tools during numerous activities. Their most common tool is the breadboard. The breadboard serves a very sophisticated social function. The engineer Electricus competes over who can develop the breadboard most striking in appearance. The engineer that succeeds will be revered by the opposite sex. The actual functional use of the breadboard serves little importance. The engineer Electricus often enters periods of playtime. While the fully developed engineers seem to avoid the practice of playtime, the younger developing electricus seems to delve into play as much as possible. As such, when elders approach, the engineers will hide their indiscretions. It is difficult to observe the e electricus up close. Camouflage technology has improved to the point where we can get an intimate look at the subject's behavior. National Geographic staff place themselves in the way of unknown dangers while they enter into the territory of the engineer electricus.
Even after extensive study of E. electricus, there is much we do not know about these noble creatures. What motivates their behavior? What drives them to sacrifice so much? Are these traits inherent, or are they developed? We can only ponder the mysteries of the engineer electricus. Understanding these amazing creatures might pose a challenge, but the insight we gain in such an endeavor can only prove the betterment of humanity. So for now, we must settle for the knowledge we have obtained on this expedition, but always look beyond the present, for there is much to see on the horizon.